Why kill your enemies when you can let them kill themselves? Today we're stacking fort defense and max attrition to basically expand for free as the world tries to stop us. With some handy scootaged vassals we can expand beyond our mountains and then bravely run away when the enemy comes knocking, only coming back to fight when there are only child soldiers and invalids left. So let's see just how far this bizarre strategy takes us. Right lads, uh, I'm afraid I am very very ill, so what better to do than to play a campaign all about sitting back, relaxing, developing our land, and allowing people to die on uh, our forts. It's kind of horrific when you put it like that, huh? So our fort defense is pretty high already, uh, and I, I mean that's just going to get higher. I'm hoping by the end of this video we will have ourselves a coalition, and I'll be able to prove the power of fort defense. Also, I'm hoping I'll still have my voice by the end of this video. So I'm afraid I'm going to be speaking a bit more quietly than usual. Okay, we get ourselves cavalry combat ability as well as some national manpower modifier. And our king is dead. Okay, it's not, not the greatest way to start the campaign, but that's fine. Right. I do want to head up into Georgia. Although we do have a couple of issues with regards to rebels that I might want to deal with first. I'm afraid I'm fresh off of the Najd campaign that I did. Where right at the end we were taking 300% overextension every single war to try and uh, get ourselves over the line. So I need to get out of that mindset. How many troops does he have? Not that many. I think we're just going to do it. Declare the war. Cleanse you heresy. <coughs> Dude, this is going to be rough. My voice is already going. All right. I've decided I'm going to play this campaign until I can no longer talk. Which could put my recovery back a little while. But that's a, a, a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, so maintaining the whole theme of this means that I can't take any province that isn't protected by a mountain fort. Fortunately, this lot are... That's the Siege of Lumsi are done. Not sure where the Georgian troops are, but they don't exist apparently. Oh, and Babar is dead. That's not fun. Don't worry, <laughs> Kadir is going to replace him. Okay, most of the areas are defended via a mountain fort. I'm building a mountain fort over here, which should project around these areas. I kind of think I need this one here instead of Roch, because Roch is a highland fort. This is a mountain fort that would protect this area as well. So I think we'll do that. It's a relatively relaxed for this. So I, uh, I want to share a little anecdote. I hopped onto a call last night with a couple of my friends that I play video games with. Um, and <laughs> one of them, um, as I hopped in, she said, Ha, Leith, your, your voice sounds different. I said, what do you mean? And she said, you know, it sounds more masculine. So thanks for that. If you're watching, cheers. Appreciate that. <laughs> so unnecessary. I think we can take pretty much all of these territories. I mean, that is hills. It's not a mountain fort. So I don't know how I feel. I can't take Abkhazia. But I could take Imereti. And I could take these areas because they're from Tbilisi. Azurum is also mountains, so I could take everything up until Imereti. I haven't seen a single Georgian at all. Is it just Circassian troops? No, they just didn't, they're just not helping. Ottomans are no longer our rival. It's a shame. I want to fight them next, potentially. Basically a proto-Persia. Best part about being ill for me is that, um, it, <laughs> it's going to sound sad, okay? Is that it means that I, I get a day off of like YouTube and stuff without feeling bad about it. I mean, having said that, I'm still recording, but I'm recording because I want to record. Because I think this is a fun campaign. I'm enjoying this one. What do you want? Uh, Renaissance? No. Can't have it. There's been a long war just because I've not been able to t fight them. Because, you know, there's, I mean, I get there's the whole Fabian strategy of not fighting your enemy when they're superior, but, like, it's a bit different. Oh, that's a province that doesn't have a fort protecting it. I should probably change that. Should also buy down my war exhaustion a little bit. Russians are fighting the Poles. Can't imagine that's going to go well for them. There we go. Circassia is done. Ooh, I can just force religion on you. Let's just do that. There you go. And there's the Georgians. <coughs> okay, now we need to build forts in these areas. Once they've finished being uh, assimilated. Okay. Ooh, we get another blessing. Uh, I guess mystery strength. That would be good for us right now. I need Antakia. And the rest of the Coptic stuff are down south, so I can't get them because there's no mountains. So I think a fort here in cars would be a good idea. That's a good way to project power everywhere. Ooh. Although I should probably get one in cars and then one in Yerevan as well because of Ganja. Oh, I completely forgot about Brittany. 
and them being a thing. Still out to Austria, nice. A very strong uh, conquest of uh, Morocco from the Iberians. Emirati just got spat out of Georgia, okay. I need Georgian separatists to not rise up for a sec. Just for a little bit. Just makes things a little bit more efficient when I can do this. Okay, I've switched over my home trade node to Persia, which is good because money make a lot more now. Uh, and we just need to clean up the Persians now. Oh, the, sorry, the Timurids. There are no Persians here. What's the combat width? 25. All right, Age of Reformation. Once this fort is built, I think I'm going to step to the Ottomans. We'll go after this lot. And then we'll fight the Ottomans, Hassa and uh, uh, Shivan to try and take some more territories. Because all of these territories I can protect with forts. Ooh, not mountain forts though. Uh, this one I can. This one I can. Okay, these two. I just can't take Shamak. But I can if I take uh, this province here. Okay, cool. Because that'll protect that. Then there's the borders. It's technically protected by a mountain fort because it's gone round the mountain. You have to go through a mountain fort. In the same way, like, for example, I can have... Uh, this province, and it's fine because it's technically protected by mountain forts because it's surrounded by them. It makes sense. Oh, great. Minus 5% morale of armies. It's not really what you want to see. It's weird going ahead of time in, uh, Advent Tech. But sure. Alright, the Ottomans have a lot of troops. That's fine. There we go. That's not that. Okay, that's 100,000 troops. Okay, Christ. Um, I should have squished the earth. He can't get around me, right? Right? Oh, no. He can go around me. All right, we're going to pull off of this fort. And we're going to quickly build a fort here. <laughs> I don't have the money for it. What do you mean, naval invasion? Even... Okay, this could get a lot dicey than I, than I thought. Oh, boy. I mean, this is mountains. It's unfortunate that I've moved all my troops away, but we'll fight there. Okay, stats-wise, roughly even. He's got the edge on me. Okay, I had to go lie down for a little bit because I was feeling very dizzy. And frankly, I don't remember what I'm doing. So this will be fun. Um, what, we're fighting the Ottomans. We won. Okay, nice. Okay, I think we have uh, enough over here. Defensiveness, cool. The Ottomans have a lot more troops than I expected them to. How many troops do they have? It's only 1530. And the Ottomans have 140,000 troops. And they went full quantity and have the Ottoman ambition. Okay, that's that's kind of rough. That's bad. This is this is terrible. <laughs> How's he fighting you again? Ottoman conquers a cell. Okay, so we're gonna get the full force of it later. Okay, he's coming back around. I think we need to retreat uh, south now. Where's he going? He tried to catch me. Okay, I can't retreat too far because of the Azurum forts. <laughs> okay, yeah, we definitely need to go chase that. Okay. That's, that's 90,000 troops. That's a lot of attrition he's going to be suffering. I kind of need him to stay there as long as possible. Okay, I baited him out to go somewhere else. That's nice. Okay, cool. You know what? We're going we're gonna to sit in these provinces. I'm going to nip in here and hope. Okay, he is going to try and uh, fight here. Is he? He is. Okay, cool. What we're going to do now is scorch the earth. He'll get there. When do you arrive? The fourth. You'll get there on the fifth, so it'll be fine. Okay, and then we've got to stagger these guys in. That is why you stagger things. Okay, that should see him off for a little bit. We do have ticking war score because of, you know, the war goal. Uh, let me scorch the earth over here as well. I'm trying to make it as inhospitable as possible. Uh, you're taking so long on this, Christ. You do not have the Ottoman siege ability. Yep, and he's running. Cool. Okay, the idea is we want to bleed the Ottomans a little bit more. So we're going to hide behind forts for a little bit. Alright, we found some Hassa troops. Uh, although they seem to have mysteriously disappeared. Right, I'm going to try something risky here. A zero, zero, 003. Yeah, I'll take the hit now, thank you. Alright, takes his attrition hit, and there we go. Here's the risky part. We have a three siege general that I'm going to rush over there. He's prioritizing taking Azurum over um, sieging back Trabzon. I'll take it, or, you know, threatening Trabzon. They are starting to push into other areas. Again, losing one or two forts, really not the end of the world. That's why we have, like, double layers. Although it would be nice if you were to win this. There's 49%. Okay. Now we get our 2-6. He's going to go straight in. You're going to reinforce. Hold for a second, then you're going to reinforce. And that's how that's done. 
Okay, we've taken traps on now. We need to go and deal with this other lot. That's unfortunate. They've won the Siege of Malamut. Fortunately for me, I can just take it back. Taking traps on actually was a bad idea because they don't suffer the attrition over there. So it was just a pure waste. Doesn't mean I don't want it. Just means it wasn't as practical as I initially hoped. Okay, we could lose another fort up there. No worries. Ottomans are on medium. I'm just more or less right now putting my theory into practice. There you go. Ooh, that's rough for him. Ooh, buddy. Okay. So they're probably going to take that fort over there in cars. Which is fine. Oh, it's because I didn't have defensiveness on it. That's silly of me. I'm going to try and rescue it. But I think it'll fall now because it's the Ottomans. There you go. 35% is basically a guaranteed victory for the Ottomans. However, one thing I can do is take it back immediately. Very little cost. It costs me about 2,000 men, probably. Less than that. Okay, how so? We want to get them to come out now, so we'll do that. I'm more or less like bullying the Ottomans. I'm pretty sure I can piece them out now. But this is just, I just want to do this. There you go. Okay. We, okay, the Ottomans are actually on low. They'll piece out now. Yeah, I'm not going to get any walker score off them, so. There you go. They lost 300 or 209,000 troops. And that's how that's done. Uh, we lost all of our manpower, but that's okay. Proof of concept is what I needed. Well, they'll uh, give us the stuff. Cool. There we go. And now this flank is defended via a fort. This is going to be a powerful Ottomans, this game. Really powerful. They've got nothing. They've got no one really apart from the poles, maybe. They're going to step to them. Manpower does recover remarkably quickly for this sort of stage in the game. Ottomans are preparing to attack Circassia. Oh, they already took out Moretti. Oh, well. I'm going to have to build some more forts around there. This is a drylands fort. It's really not useful. I'm going to have to get rid of this drylands one later as well. Shift it over to this mountain one. Timurids are in a bad place because they are inside of a ring of forts. So I can deal with them whilst everyone else can try and deal with me. Hausa, Ardalan, Hadrama, Adra. I mean, let's just do it. Seems like fun. Good luck, chaps. What's to come up with? Right now our guys are rocking 28 wits. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Oh, the cool thing here is I can go straight to House's capital because they don't control the Basra fort. Great. Minus 5% morale of armies. We also have minus... Oh, no, he's dead. Cool. Alright, let's spread out and take the internals. Like I said, I think we just play a bit passive. Just enjoy. There's no rush, really. Uh, we can start ourselves a gold near him. Sounds nice. Oh, I'll save that for the coalition war that I'm planning to trigger. Also, of course, other religions. Sounds nice. There really isn't much you can do to stop me, is there? Any of you. It's kind of sad when you think about it. Ajaran turned up. That's nice. Um, I don't think it's going to go well for you. You turned up, which is cool. Oh, where's that? House wants to peace out immediately. Okay, thank you. Just sitting outside your land, huh? Oh, no, you're going to a mountain fort. Don't do it. You know what? Let's just, let's just let him sit there. There's no rush. 6.6% .6 attrition. Jesus Christ. Ooh, another government fort. Please give me some more fort events. I don't know how you'd be able to, but do it. would be funny. Monthly favor growth, improve relations with my reputation, or general estates, or states general. <laughs> okay. It does feel quite plutocratic. I haven't done this for a while. Let's do this. We have monarchists, and we have statists. This is just taking ages. 289 days. Okay, it, it felt a lot longer to me. Alright. Ajaran might peace out. Nope. Our land's only on medium. That's kind of cute. Um, There you go. You're really not making headway, are you? You know what? Let's make life harder for you. Defensiveness. I could just kill the army, but that's kind of... It's more fun to watch them slowly starve to... Maybe I've got a problem, you know? I don't... Doesn't feel like something healthy, I should admit. <laughs> Oh my god, why are you fighting in Ottoman territory? What's going on here? The Chutos are still alive? Wow. The Austrians lost territory to the Bohemians. This is a sad day to be Austrian. So who are the top dogs then? Um, Ottomans, obviously. Spain, Poland, us, Portugal, France, Vajanagar, England. Okay. Ming's losing control of the south, so they... I Wait, Ming weren't on that list. Yeah, imagine they're collapsing. There's no point me suffering devastation in this province, huh? So let's just go get it back. Right, keep chasing down these things. It's only 4% attrition now. We're the offender, and yet they've suffered more in attrition than we have. That's fantastic. Oh, no. Thanks for dealing with those guys. Appreciate it. I actually lost the siege. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Oh. 
Uh, Conquest of Van. Nah, I don't really feel like playing that. I'm feeling lazy today. On account of, you know, the illness. The dreaded lurgy, as many call it. Okay, what other stuff do I want to take? Uh, probably Hormuz, right? Yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll just peace out now. We take Hormuz. Hormuz isn't technically protected by a mountain fort, but I feel like it is. So, I can put a fort on it. Um, wait, I can't take it though, can I? Um, hmm. It's just, it's a straight crossing, so I feel like that counts. If I build a navy. Ooh, mission fulfilled. Controlled West Khorasan. Control Upper Persia. Gives us land attrition for minus 20, for minus 20% for 20 years. It's cool. Core crunching cost minus 20% for 20 years, 15 years, sorry. And way more admin than we know what to do with. I can write with Brittany. That feels mean. Go somewhere else, man. Don't be here. I'm just allowing the Ottomans to grow bigger because I don't, I don't, I really don't fear them. Okay, he's eventually going to Timurid Lands. Ottomans are attacking Hungary. Jesus. Okay, I think Ming's no longer a valid rival. Mamluks, Poland, Janigard, Delhi. You know, we'll go for Delhi. Oh, the Ottomans have annexed over here. I don't think there are any forts in this region, though. Uh, it's, it's a lie. Out of the three provinces I clicked on, two had forts. We can ally the Poles, but I don't really want to ally anyone now. I want to just... You know what? Let's do it. Let's, we're dissolving all alliances. We're sitting pretty. Uzbek, don't need you anymore. I'm just going to sit in my uh, in my castle. Okay, where isn't protected by a fort? Down here isn't. That's what moves. We could deal with that. That's all protected. That's protected. I mean, most of these areas are protected, which is nice. I think everyone is. Okay, cool. So we just need a fort in Homers. Go ahead and state everything. State these areas. Call them. Wait the month tick. Then we're going to go ahead. Lower the autonomy. Okay, the only concern is the interior is not built up to scratch in terms of forts. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of money, so I don't really see an issue with building some. Just in case someone gets through to this area, you know? I want to make this place hell to get through. Protestant zealots in Georgia. Why Why are they Protestant? I mean, it might as well, right? Nip in here. Did... Oh, Ar it's Ardabils that, that came in. Right, my bad. I thought it was Ardalan. Oh, I look very ignorant now. Oh my god, we got a 4-5. Thank you. I'll take that. What are you doing? What are you lining up for? You fight the Muscovites. Jesus. The Ottomans are going a bit... This is very, very aggressive. I am just going to take Ardabil. Not really much anyone can do about it. It's a well-placed mountain fort. What can I say? I'm a stickler for it. Your maps? Sure, you could have maps. I'm surprised you're still alive over here, Karkinlu. Given the fact that the Ottomans did try to conquer you. What kind of deal did you, did you pull? Huh? Who'd you, who'd you sell out? Okay, Bam is done. We're just going to give us another merchant. Where to put him, though? Look at over here. We make so much money. It's great. I'm saving up my uh, Diplo and Admin because I'm going to need to develop some land to get the next institution. All right, the Ottomans seem to have finished off their war. Skill 3 Inquisitor, 50% cheaper. Yes, please. So this is going to give us land attrition minus 25%. It's also going to give us land force modifier and also attrition for enemies and also general cost minus 33%. So all of these things are very, very good. We'll skip morale of armies, which is nice. All right, let's start building up some better troops, shall we? Or better armies. And bigger, I suppose. More. No, no one's allowed into my territory, sorry. Assemble an army. Yeah, why not? I'll click it now. Pretty press. Excellent. All right, development. What's the cheapest area? Kunduz. This region is stupid good. 36, 37, and what's going to be the next institution over here as well. I have a lot of power to spare, so... That's gone very well. Almost got it immediately. I think the person who got the uh, printing press initially might not get as fast as we will. Dernoworth. I mean, yeah, it automatically got it. But everyone else, look at that. Slowly clicking up. We just all, pretty much already have it. As promised, we have our wooden wall here over there, which is nice. We have the third largest army in the world. Brittany has the fourth largest, which is fun. We also have a large navy in comparison to everyone else in terms of carracks. And our Shah is now strict. Okay, so we have money, we have manpower, and I think it's time we did a little bit of expansion. So what I want now is I have my borders pretty much secured. Like, I, I could take one or two Ottoman provinces, maybe. Otherwise, I want to start expanding to India uh, under the guise of having, like, Multan as a vassal, for example. 
and then having like one big vassal here, one big vassal here, one big vassal here. Because I don't really want to expand beyond my borders because then I'm going to scootage everyone so then no one can hurt them. I could just fight the Ottomans. I don't number two to one, but that's that's kind of the fun of it, isn't it? Yeah, let's get ourselves a vassal first. So we can either fight Sind. Ooh, Punjab looks like a great vassal, actually. And then I'll reconquest against Sirhind. Cool. Delhi, Gujarat, and Sirhind. Then everyone is behind the uh, the borders. So everyone's to my east, so it shouldn't be much of an issue. Oh, there's a coalition. About time. Also, there is printing press. Oh, don't stack on it, lads. You're not going to have a good time. 5.3% attrition. All right, let's go in. 95% discipline. All right, let's wait a sec. And then we'll go in with the rest. Straight into the next slot. And into the next slot. Right, I'm going to pull out uh, and I'm going to let the attrition do it for me. I, I started to get impatient there. I started to like, actually go forwards. But that's not the point of this campaign. The point is to let the enemy burn themselves out. So we'll just chill. They've suffered 26,000 casualties from attrition. Ooh, that's not what you want to see. Disease outbreak is bad. So there's a max of 7%. They're suffering 5% attrition over here. Uh, let's pull back out of Jalalabad so that they will attempt to go in. Okay, they reached the walls. Now's the time to fight that. And we can take our sweet time getting ready. Now, are they going to reinforce that, do you think? If they will, I'll stagger my guys in. All right, and we pull out again. Let's go ahead and scorch the earth here. It doesn't look like they are advancing anymore. <laughs> look at the standoff. We've suffered 3,000 for attrition. They've suffered 45,000. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, spend some money bringing this forward a little bit. And some manpower, why not? Finish that off. Just so I can grab myself a trade post here. That's going to give us tolerance of true faith, prestige, and also mystery strength. So if I retreat out of here, do you think he'll advance in? Or do you think he's been burnt too much? There you go. They're actually pushing in now. Oh, please don't stack 80,000 men there, lads. That's 100,000 men. They're losing. Don't do it. Oh, God. I'm going to let them take that fort because it's Highlands. <laughs> so the next fort is either mountains or mountains. Oh, my God. There's no way. There's no way you're happy with this. 83,000 troops from attrition. We couldn't hope to kill that many. <laughs> Alright, let's make sure we pull out a little bit so that they are actually uh, pushing to Kabul. They're on 78%. I'm getting lucky with these sieges. I think they might run out of manpower, you know. I think they might have. Oh my god. <laughs> they don't have any manpower left. You did it, guys. You took the fort. Well done. I have an idea. Alright. Why is this one slow? Why has he got 26%? I risked it there. We're going straight in. Uh, this lot are going to go over here. Gonna quickly take back this fort. <laughs> 43 days. And we're going to pull out again. This is magical. I mean, it's not the most efficient way of fighting, but they lost 161,000 men for attrition. <laughs> Where's his capital? So here is his capital. We'll go stand on his capital. They can't replenish any of these losses, which is nice. Don't go for it again, man. Sand is out with 47,000 losses. Two battles simultaneously. Rough times if you're from Delhi. Oof, even rougher times. Very rough times if you're from Delhi. And they'll come out. All right, cool. And now we push in. Gujarat's out. Okay, so that's a coalition. We're going to take all of this land. And we're going to release... You Punjab as a vassal. We're gonna give him this land. Anything that's not protected. Well, technically this area is protected, but that would mean I can't give him more land. So we're gonna give him land even though we don't really need to give it to him. Yeah, we'll give it to him anyway. This is more fun that way. <coughs> now what we do is we're going to enable Scootage, which means he's not gonna be called into wars. Which means we still maintain our defensive outlook on life. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I, I'm glad that this is the campaign I set up for myself whilst I will. This is good. <laughs> Means I can chill out a little bit. Okay, we've embraced the printing press. Now we just need something on this side of things. Who would be a good vassal? I mean, it, I, I'd have to fight and kill the Ottomans, but that's fine. Mariger, we can take because it's fought. Like, that's fine. Only Alitesh and Kefa. Let's just go take that now. Position a bug against the Ottomans. 
Okay, truce of the Timurids. You're not allied to anyone special, are you? Nope. Uh, let's declare a couple of wars. The first against Mariga, because I might as well. The other one, I want to bring back Tronzexiana. Oh, I've left the coalition. Nice. Because we're being so friendly right now. Hasa is getting attacked by the Ottomans. That's ideal for me. Just going to go up to three stability. Might as well use some admin power. Let's just go ahead and do this as well. There's our wall, the wooden wall. Basically the same as a mountain. It is nice not having to worry about any occupations, because, you know, there are forts everywhere. Mate, look to your own country. I really wouldn't worry about me. Not right now, at least. Marige already has a fort, so I don't need to build anything new there. It's just happy days in Afghanistan, which I don't think that's been said for a very long time. So how's my fighting? Bengal, Hassa. Oh, right, I went to a copy and see soon. Alright, where are you going? Bukhara, that should be a stack wipe. Bengal will want a peace out soon because they're getting smashed by Delhi. Well, that handles the peace for me, they are just gone. I can't be bothered to siege this properly because, again, I'm ill, so I'm just going to let the AI do it. House is gone. It's kind of what happens when you fight the Ottomans and the Afghanis at the same time. It appears Punjab is Sikh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Good job, guys. I actually convert provinces as well. That's rather amusing. Alright, nip in, do the Ardlands troops. There we go. I'll just get you to another alliance with the Ottomans. That's all I really care about. Alright, speed things up on this end. Truce is in. Chagatai and Bahmanis. Now, here's the thing this is gonna have to be a reconquest one. So I can't do my usual tricks. I'm just gonna declare it now. It's fine. It'll be alright. Ooh, that's, that's some troops. So I'll truce with Delhi up as well. That's nice. It's a shame that Delhi got formed, because Delhi is uh, one of the best vassals that you can have in the game, because the sheer amount of cores they have is ridiculous. It's kind of like Timurids-esque if the Timurids collapse in the in the, in the way that, that, that you want them to. So this is all going to Transoxiana, right? So I can just take it all. There you go. Now, I can't core until the end of this war, so that uh, slight, slight oversight on my end. Well, you know, I can't deal with it until then, but we, we get this, which is nice. Sunny Betrayal, okay. There's a big old coalition. Right, I guess we're going straight in. They're just refusing to attack me. I'm going to use 72 to reduce inflation by 0.5. <laughs> That's how little I, uh, I have. Ooh, we're outnumbered. Uh, well, <laughs> they ran away, so we weren't. Nice. Uh, I'm going to store some admin by coring some provinces. I'm not actually going to call them, but it's just useful. Did you cash me? Let's nip down, attack the Sihan troops. Or not. <laughs> I'm going to keep some troops over here just to deal with some rebels. They really don't want to fight me. Alright, I guess we're going to develop some provinces. Oh, we're going to upgrade to an empire. That's, that's, yeah. All they needed was those couple of extra little bits. Apparently. So, Chagatai, Bahmanis. Let's go straight for Bahmanis' uh, capital. I can't. Go with that one, though. Chagatai's already been occupied. Without a single shot being fired, Chagatai's out. Nice. Our troops are so much better, my god. It's not even a golden age. But yeah, I'm going to need a couple more infantry units in each of these uh, stacks there. We're getting insufficient support a lot of the time. Oh, two fights at the same time. <laughs> well, they did not last long. Okay, you'll give me access, which is good, because I think that means that I have I have access to the capital. Cool. Cool, we're getting a new idea group. Now, what was the one with the fort defense? I think it was influence. I'm pretty sure it was influence. Let me double check. Influence ideas. They stack up to give attrition for enemies plus one. I'm assuming you want to peace out. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay. Uh, wait, you don't? You're only on medium? I mean, I'm just going to get out of the wall because I don't like you. <coughs> a bit like, yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay. Now, give everything back to Punjab, please. There you go. Uh, take these provinces, please. There we go. Our eastern border is secure. Oh, right, yeah, that, there's that whole other thing. Why can't I release Transoxiana? Am I reading this wrong? Oh, I need some Arcand. Then I can do it. Cool. There we go. The Ottomans are declaring war on someone. I didn't even check who. Better not be me. All right, Mamluks have entered into a coalition. <clears throat> Let's see if the Ottomans will. Oh, right, Scootage. Uh, i got to make sure I do that. Also, divert trade, divert trade, and let me grab, where are you? Strong duchies. 
So this gives me defensiveness in this area and local fort assault ability, which I don't really know what that means. Does it mean that it means that people can't assault the fort? But it's only in this area, which I don't really use anyway. So that's kind of a terrible uh, thing, but sure. Then we've got something in some Arcand, which again, doesn't help. This coalition, what's it looking? <laughs> it's looking pretty hefty, not gonna lie, pretty hefty. That's good. That's where we want to be. Right, I need to retool my armies a bit. Get rid of some of the cavalry, because they are not helping things. And chuck an infantry there instead. It's a good job we did this whole, like, Transoxiana thing, because the Ottomans are now going to reach around here and nip into these territories. So do my missionaries... My missionaries are helping convert things to Sikhism. That seems odd. Okay, we could upgrade our things to level 4 forts. That seems fun. People are leaving the coalition against us. Oh, we get another blessing. Uh, manpower recovery speed. Sounds cool. Oh, they grabbed another one. Oh, good job, Ethiopia. Feel bad about my no allies policy now. Well, the Commonwealth formed. And we can start to see around here a little bit. Okay, so Muscovy's basically gone. The Ottomans are spreading out heinously. The Bretons have always had rebels. I've not seen them ever without rebels. Austria's not a thing. Okay. Interesting. Chagatai entered into a military coalition against us. This one province miner was like, you know what? Those Afghans, they are terrifying. Yarkhan might have been our vassal a hundred years ago and is now in control of most of our territories. But my god, those Afghans. <laughs> Get the coalition, call the United States of America, and let's go in. Uh, we're going to rival the Commonwealth. And we'll rival uh, Delhi as well. It's very weird to me that my Coptic missionaries and my missionary strength could be used to convince the Punjabs that they are Sikh. Okay, I've built level four forts in many different areas. I reckon we just go for it. Damn, he breached the walls immediately. Is that level 4-4? It is. Wow, okay, fair. So far, we're winning the casualties wars, guys. They are refusing to push in. Maybe it's because we're too close. He's building a lot more troops. There we go. Right, this is what we wanted to see. Bleed him drive first. In and out attacks. The Coptic Afghan way. He's already lost 25,000 men. <laughs> Alright, start picking them off. Oh, and they're all running. Sorry, 16 isn't enough. You need 19. Christ. Oh, no. Extra fort defense. Oh, in fact, let's swap out our morale of armies guy for more fort defense. We've got plus 40%. Let's go ahead and develop a bit more. So how long does each one of these take? 81 days, and that's despite the Ottoman siege ability. There's a breached wall. We'll nip in and deal with that. There we go. Uh, some more bridge walls here. We'll just quickly nip in, deal with that as well. Everyone else can suffer. We've got to win some battles to get Ticking War School. I was assuming you'd come down south as well. I'll, I'll put some more men up north. Alright, let's hide behind the forts again. We're up to almost 100,000 casualties from attrition. Ooh, that's that done. So that means we can grab more attrition for enemies. And I guess cultural conversion cost. 4% attrition. Alright, let's uh, let's go attack this lot. Don't stand there. That's not even a fort. He doesn't have any infantry here. Oh, this just feels mean. That's, yep, that'll do it. This is upsetting. This, this, is, this might be a war crime, even though we are, like, fighting defensively. Like a we declare the crusade and they throw themselves to their deaths. It, it's, it's thematically appropriate. What the hell's going on over here? I don't have any sailors? Okay. I never built a fort here. I'll do it now. It's fine if they cross, because, again, we've got a mountain fort and a mountain fort protecting them. Why are you allied to the Funge? Uh, I don't have any tech coming up, so might as well just do this. Do we do actually have a 6-6 six, six here? 6-6, six, 6-5, six, six, four, 4 You could be run by this guy. 4.7% <laughs> attrition. Oof. Uh, if we withdraw a little bit, do you think he'll, you know, actually fight? Yeah, he's like, he might go into that area now. Oh, what's he? A 2-1 versus 6-6 six, six in the mountains. Yeah, that ain't gonna go well. That might be a stack wipe. Oh, it's just about wasn't. Oh, that 6-6 six, six has infantry combat ability. Lovely. 5%. Oh, I can't wait for him to run out of manpower. It is the Ottomans, so you will have a lot. He still has like, oh yeah, it's only 15,000 left, so it's kind of rough. I don't want him to break through this fort because uh, there's actually nothing. Oh, uh, no, there's, there's this fort next. My bad, I thought there was nothing protecting it. Meanwhile, our manpower is almost at max. Let's see, so 181,000. 
And now it is... Okay, so he's losing 10,000 men a month. I think that's his manpower gone. I don't even think this, this guy has defensive one. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, 43%. That's time for us to get involved. That should be him done. There you go. Oh, right. I forgot to do the whole golden era thing. <laughs> that was... I was meant to give myself a bonus. And then I didn't. Let's see, I have taken 10,000 to attrition, which is kind of rough. But he has taken 238,000. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, okay. Uh, let's actually go back in there. Oh, no, he's... On, he's false alarm. He's gone back to negative. Ooh, more troops. Cool. Uh, let's go this way around so we don't spook him. And we'll just wait. He's running out of men. There you go. <laughs> I hope this comes across how, like, giddy I am. This is so much fun. This is about getting into a military coalition. Yeah, I mean, you can attack if you want. I, I wouldn't advise it. I really wouldn't. Meanwhile, we're just sitting here during war. Full manpower. Developing our promises a little bit. It's good times. Oh, God. Taking 12,000 to attrition. That's very silly of me. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, we need to get to that breached walls one. Because that's going to go positive now. Yeah. Right. Off we pop. I'll take some attrition here just to keep my armies in check. Oh, yeah, that's kind of rough. Gonna hope they don't win that on 7%. They don't. Let's go in. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's a level 2 fort. I didn't actually upgrade some of the forts. Like, down south, I did not do. Oh, he might take that. I think he will, actually. Well, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Quoth are attacking the Great Horde, who are the vassal of the Ottomans. Oh, that'd be funny. It's causing the complete downfall of the Ottoman Empire. Ooh. Ooh, that's rough. Also, our fort in uh, Hormuz is done. In other news. That's why they got trapped. Yeah, the, the Commonwealth attacked him. Oh, no. There's the War of Protestant League going on. And it might actually have fewer casualties than this. Retrograde recruitment sounds good. Let's do that. Ah, what an event. There you go. More urban infrastructure. Okay, you know what we're going to do now? We are going to start to push into his territory. He has 120,000 troops and zero manpower. <clears throat> so, and he's also going to be busy fighting the Commonwealth. So I, I feel comfortable enough pushing in. Uh, we'll take the final attrition stats. 315,000. We lost 20,000 men in attrition. to his 315,000. Fantastic. Tiberia lasted 32 days. I think because I have so much military left over because we are a peaceful nation. We can just barrage everything. The Funj has decided they don't want to fight anymore. Fezan, sick of it too. Let's see Mahra. Eh, not quite. They're still they're still on board for a while. Constantinople's fallen. Ooh, there's probably an army waiting there. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh no, they're not they're not reinforcing it. Okay, cool. Oh my god. I can't get any more from battles. I got a little bit more taking war score. I actually need to occupy his provinces now. Ooh, Witless. Why would you do this to yourself? He's just trapped himself there. Okay, um, well, let's go take out his troops. We get force march now. We're very far ahead of time. In admin, of all things. So not the navy, he's now trapped. And we'll take out the 20k troops. This entire time we haven't dipped below 90,000 troops. All right, let's see here. Can I get across the straight? Nah, not quite. On the right side, Mahra is out. Okay, this is a mountains province, which means we can take stuff adjacent to it. So that's the extent we could take from there. We could take this province here, here. Uh, I think that's a marsh, so I could take that one. I can't quite take the others. That's a mountain province, so I could take this. And around here. Moshe is a mountain province, which means we could take, and so Bitless it already is, we could take that. Diabeka is Highlands, I believe, so we can't take anything south of that. I think that's the extent to the, uh, to, to which we can go west of our own volition. But there it is, 122,000 casualties to 576,000. I've taken territory that is all defended by mountains, as per our uh, MO. And more importantly, what we can also do is release ourselves... Syria? Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me. I said Syria, and my phone perked up. And went, uh-huh. I hope they might pick that up, because that was one of the scariest moments of, of this year thus far. I live a very sheltered life. Um, Marash is highlands, but it's protected by this mountain over here, so we need to build that there. Can't imagine people going to be too happy with us in terms of coalitions. 
How about we did just take out the biggest detractor? Oh, they're leaving the coalition. Okay, that's that's not how I expected that to go down. Scootage, divert trade. Scootage, divert trade. Now, Fazan got killed by something. Well, that's something apparently being Tunis. Really? No no massive coalition? I thought, thought for sure it would, it would trigger. No? Okay. Let's finish off the BAM Citadel. Can upgrade this. Okay, I need to get rid of this fort and put it in Gore. Because that'll protect the areas more effectively. So then Hormuz has a fort. Everything else has a fort. Up here is protected by level 4 forts. Take this military tech. Yes, please. No, no, no. Oh, I was going to have like a big old thing where I declared war on the coalition. I don't want them all to leave the coalition. I'm too strong. Oh. Build up level 4 forts everywhere and everything. I thought it was still summoning troops from somewhere. Still got manpower, they got 122,000 troops. The Commonwealth, like, are also... I mean, how? How have you not won? It's kind of embarrassing, really. Wait. Earth is not protected by anything. Earth is not protected by a mountain fort. That's a highland fort. Well, it's your lucky day, Syria. You get another province. So we're sitting as the number three great power in the world uh, with... The largest army in the world. <laughs> By some margin as well. Well, 8,000, but then after that it becomes a lot wider. Uh, level 4 forts are everywhere. Uh, defensiveness means that we literally can't lose any wars. And then we have our scootage vassals, meaning we can continue to expand beyond our borders, uh, regardless of the rules in terms of the... Uh, mountain provinces but realistically this is the extent afghanistan is going to get and i think this is where we leave it for today uh thank you very much for watching despite my illness um and i'll see you all next time goodbye huge shout out to my patrons most importantly redguard 76 lewis wright ryan b atreides blenderman krilly ghost wolf jade out 52 xiaomi luke matthew McHugh, mike 473 mikey lewis original shadow singer and tom this support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.